Am I the asshole? For backing out of a wedding because they want to screen me? I have been invited by my friend Tom, as a plus one to his older brother's wedding. Tom and I met at a party and have been friends for ten years. He asked me out when we first met and I said no. He's been in a few relationships over the years and had a long-term girlfriend for four years. Tom broke up with his long-term GF in March and asked me out quite a few times afterwards. This caused tension within our friendship, but the last time we spoke about it, he seemed to understand that I wasn't interested, and a relationship with me was never going to be on the table. His family has been putting pressure on him settling down and getting married, especially since his brother got engaged. He asked me if I could be his plus one to his big brother's wedding so he wouldn't go alone, and I reluctantly said yes. Tom told his brother about me, and his brother said he'd like to meet me before the wedding in case it's awkward and he doesn't want anyone ruining his wedding. I thought this was a tad strange because I'm only a plus one. I'm not part of the wedding party. But I said sure, arrange something if you want to. Tom's brother has since told his mother and father about me. Now his mother wants to meet me before the wedding too, as Tom said just to make sure you'll fit in with everyone. I feel like I'm being screened and I'm finding it kind of offensive. I'm starting to think maybe Tom has implied I'm more than a friend to his family. It's making me uncomfortable. So, would I be the asshole if I pulled out of the wedding? Or is this normal and I'm being overly sensitive? Not the asshole if you dropped out. You are a plus one that is going to a wedding with a friend that doesn't want to go alone, not applying for work in the black ops part of NSA and not in anything more than a platonic relationship with the guy. It's possible his family has concerns about the kind of people he has historically brought to family events but that is their and his issue, not yours. You're just a friend, you don't need to meet the family. Tom clearly carries a torch for you so it might be time to end the friendship because he wants something more and isn't accepting your refusal. It's making me uncomfortable. They might be great people but go with your gut. Not the asshole. I'd have a conversation with him about this, and remind him one does not equate to a dating relationship. And if he continues to pressure you to be more than friends, it's time to withdraw. You've told him multiple times you aren't interested and he's not taking the hint. Not the asshole you said no, he proceeded to ask you out quite a few times, he's a creep who cannot take no for an answer and isn't worth your time. Not only are you being screened, but something tells me that Tom is likely telling his family that you're in a relationship together. If you attend the wedding, you'll probably have to play the part to keep the wedding flowing smoothly. Run girl run. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's not completely unheard of for people to not want to bring plus ones to their wedding if they don't know them. The mom thing though Tom definitely implied you are more than friends. We don't want to meet your fiancé for the first time at your brother's wedding. Not the asshole. Tom isn't being honest, he presented you as the potentially serious girlfriend. It is time to bail on this situation. This sucks for Tom but Ha got himself into this mess. Not the asshole you need to pull out. Obviously, Tom has a long game here and it is a bit much to screen A plus 1 for something like this. Info. I have been invited by my friend Tom. Tom and I met at a party and have been friends for 10 years. He asked me out when we first met and I said no. So a 22 yo man was trying to pick up a 17 yo child? And you have kept this person in your life? Not the asshole sorry Tom, but when I agreed to this favor I was not aware there was interviews involved. I'm going to pass. This is too much BS on your part just so Tom isn't alone at the wedding. If he ends the friendship over this, then you're better off without him and whatever game he is trying to play. Some people believe no isn't a hard decision and if they just keep persevering the object of their affection will suddenly have a revelation and fall at their feet. I blame rom-coms. This does not seem to be a guy taking no for an answer. Not the asshole and now might be a good time to let this friendship go. 
he's not taking no for an answer and has been constantly dismissing your feelings boundaries for years on the subject of dating. Based on how his family's reacting, I'd be curious as to what he's told them about you recently and over the last 10 years. Him just getting out of a four-year relationship and then pursuing someone he's held a torch for for 10 years is suspect. Out of curiosity, do you know why he broke up with his GF? Not the asshole. Pull out and decline the invitation. Whatever is going on, something isn't right. Tom borders on being a stalker. Rethink the friendship maybe. Not the asshole Tom has seen too many rom-coms and thinks this is magically going to happen, and has probably told his family you're dating. Not the asshole. Trust your instincts and back out. You have no idea what he's told his family about you and he also could be seeing this as an opportunity for your friendship to become more like a romantic wedding changes your mind about dating him. Not the asshole. He doesn't believe you won't date him eventually. The second he genuinely believes that, you won't see him for dust. There will be no friendship remaining. And he's likely watched too many rom-coms or the people advising him have and he's fully bought into the be my one for a wedding, we're just friends honest, oh whoops we have to share a bed, it'll be fine, oh look we shagged now realize we are meant to be. Not the asshole they want to make sure you fit in the family but you aren't going to be in the family. Run I'm betting Tom didn't say y'all are only friends. Not the asshole WTF, they want you go on a series of interviews to see if are the right fit for their wedding? I believe couples should have control over their special day but this is insane control. Not the asshole. Tom is not your friend. You are something he wants to possess. He's definitely setting you up here. His friendship is only engineered to trap you. He doesn't like you. He wants you. He can't agree to not want you. The only way you can handle this is to say goodbye. You'd be doing Tom a favor. This may be a bit overboard, but consider checking for cameras and GPS trackers. This man has been infatuated with you for two years. If he wasn't friend zoned, he would be stalking you. Not the asshole. Run away. You to not the asshole definitely go with your gut on this one it is bizarre that his family feels they need to meet you before you are simply a one at his brother's wedding and, considering he doesn't seem to understand the meaning of the word no, the whole situation sounds pretty questionable. Natar. When you invite someone and give them a plus one trying to control or evaluate who they bring is shitty behavior. I say that as a guy who had two sex workers at his wedding brought by friends. Side note, they were awesome women and livened it up. Oh my this is creepy not the asshole. You only have to fit in with these people for a few hours. Not the asshole. It sounds like he hasn't given up and this is his chance to get you to fall for him. Back out, he's not listening to you. Not the asshole. It's a wedding, not a job interview. Not the asshole. Tom is not your friend. Tom is still trying to date you. He's become delusional about the situation. On he's convinced his friends and family of a different story. Don't go to the wedding and definitely don't go to the screening. They are going to try and convince you why you should be dating Tom. It's time to move on from Tom. Tom isn't your friend, he's a creeper trying to weigh you down. It sounds like he's told his family you're more than just a plus one. Not the asshole. Run for the hills, Tom and his family think it's a date, possibly more. He's probably given them that impression intentionally. Tom is not a friend, you telling him you weren't interested once should have been enough. Not the asshole. But, girl, get real. He is not your friend. He wants to sleep with you and has for literally years. Not the asshole. I think your friend has told his family you're a potential significant other and they are screening you. Make an excuse not to go and put a lot of distance between you and him. Not the asshole at all. I do think there are people who want to meet everyone who is going to a wedding beforehand they're paying for someone's attendance, they don't want to do that for a stranger. If Tom is in the wedding party, 
his brother may anticipate that you'll be interacting with the family more than some other guests, so Tom's brother might not want his first time meeting you to be on the day off. Also, people planning weddings parents especially get hella weird. That said, you're A plus one and not obligated to jump through hoops. If it were me, I'd probably bail. He does not understand. He tried several times, this means he will never understand. Major red flag. Not the asshole. Please see less of this guy for your safety. Not the asshole but why are you even friends with someone who asks you out when you've said no? He obviously doesn't respect your feelings. Not the asshole. Honestly, after so long of having to say no, it's clear this guy doesn't respect when you say no. It seems abundantly clear he will never treat you as friend, but rather a potential partner, if he just pushes hard enough. These kinds of people can be dangerous. I would not be his friend. So many red flags, it's like a slalom course. Don't go. Tom is probably thrilled that you said yes to going to the wedding with him and is using this as an opening to once again try and make you guys more than friends FYI, real friends do not continually harass you to date them. Not the asshole. Natar. Tom never learned what no meant whenever you said it. He's just waiting for you to change your mind one day. Drop Tom because he doesn't respect your friendship. Not the asshole don't go to the wedding and stop talking and hanging out with Tom. He is only interested in dating you, he has made this abundantly clear. His family sounds creepy as hell. Nobody screens or meets with A plus 1 for a wedding. Nobody.